week four of the fantasy football season. And here's a few running backs. I have his sleeper options this week. The first guy, Justice Hill of the Baltimore Ravens. Harbaugh, he came out this week here. And he said that he looked like a superstar was Justice Hill in that ball game. And he only had six carries, but he made the most of it with 10 yards a carry with six fantasy points. We know J.K. Dobbins came back in the game, but he didn't look 100% in week three in New England. In week four, he's gonna be a tough guy to play, especially with the matchup versus the Buffalo Bills, where I believe this is a ball game where it's just gonna be up and down the field between these two teams in a classic and an AFC shootout in this one. So right here, Justice Hill for weeks after, he's got pretty good matchups. Cincinnati, Giants, and Cleveland coming up after that. If he could take the number one role, and he's the most healthy about Kenyon Drake, he looks finished, Mike Davis, I think his best years are behind him as well in this backfield. I know Gus Edwards, his return to the lineup should be soon. But at minimum right now, Justice Hill is going to get a look. And he's going to get a guy that's going to get some carries. So right now available in 98% of fantasy leagues. If you're real desperate, he's a running back I would use this week. The next guy is Craig Reynolds of Detroit Lions. So Craig Reynolds, he is the backup now in Detroit with DeAndre Swift probably out two or three weeks for this Lion team and available 97% of fantasy leagues is Reynolds. So I could see him being the passing downs back for Jamal Williams, who's obviously gonna be short yardage and first and second down back and goal line back for this Detroit Lion team. So Craig Reynolds, last season he had some playing time, but so far this year we haven't seen much from him. Obviously being the third string on the roster, week two versus Washington, three carries, 16 yards, a catch 13 yards, and week three of Minnesota, Six carries, 13 yards, a catch for five yards. He's going to get probably 10 to 12 touches in this one here versus the Seattle Seahawks. And this Seahawks defense, like I mentioned, isn't that good. Obviously, Bobby Wagner left in free agency and went to division rival the Rams. And Jamal Adams, he's out for the season after tearing his quad in week one. So Craig Reynolds available in tons of fantasy leagues. And if you're in a real pinch or the deepest of leagues here, I don't think he could be a horrible sleeper option. This week in the third and final running back I have as a sleeper this week is the author forming of the Carolina Panthers. So right now, Christian McCaffrey, he hasn't practiced the first two days of the week here. And he's banged up a little with a quad injury, I believe. And Christian McCaffrey, we know he's been injury prone over the last two seasons. And Devonta Foreman last season filling in for Derrick Henry. Pretty solid, 133 rush attempts, 566 rush yards, three touchdowns. Nine catches, 123 receiving yards, and a fumble loss. So right here, it's going to be him and Chubber Hubbard. Probably a split for the most part. Christian McCaffrey misses any time. Right now, he's available in 90% of fantasy leagues. And obviously, I think he'll be the goal line back. And possibly the first and second down back for most strides is not the forming. So right here, we still got to wait word here for the last practice report here today on Friday to see if McCaffrey plays or not. But if you're a McCaffrey owner right now, you should go out there on the wire and get down to Foreman just in case. And he's a guy you could plug in as a flex and number two running back if CMC is out this week. So that's a few running backs out of his sleepers here for week four of the fantasy football season.